Hi, I'm Mitch Shoemaker and this is day four of my doing 100 days of YouTube videos and focusing on my writing. So yay, I made it through day four and I already want to be done and or to stop. <laughs> I just, I want to take a break and catch up on some sleep and some other things and get my schedule kind of flipped around and organized and then get back to my writing. But the only problem with that is if I stop, I don't know when I will start again or if I will start again. And I don't like those if and when things because it just kind of leaves things out there in limbo where I just kind of say that I'm going to do something and just never follow through with it or I do years down the road or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, so I just I don't want to stop what I'm doing. So I'm just depriving myself of sleep temporarily and hopefully after this weekend I will be able to kind of flip my hours back to some semblance of normal and now that I have to flip my hours back I mean I can keep doing this and just you know but it means that I go to work later but then I still have my cutoff and it's just yeah I need to flip my hours the other way I actually went to work earlier tonight than I have in the last few nights but then I stayed out just a little bit later and um, I did make a lot more money got my some a bonus stuff. Well, I don't know if I got bonus stuff, but <laughs> if I do the same thing tomorrow, I will get bonus stuff, but it doesn't matter. I made way more money tonight than I anticipated making, which I'm really grateful for. So that was very good. Um, and my bills are getting paid, which I'm also very grateful for. And yes, I'm saying a bunch of stuff that I'm grateful for because I'm so used to doing my gratitude videos. And I noticed today when I was going to work, I was kind of in a grumpy mood. And then I started thinking of things I was grateful for and it made my grumpy mood go away. So I'm grateful I was able to do that too. And then I'm grateful that I was able to come home um, last night, this morning, whatever. <laughs> I know it's technically morning, but it still feels like the end of my night. Um, so anyway, I came home and I was able to work on my um, on my writing and I've noticed also that I haven't um, I haven't had time or energy to like turn on my TV for the past like four days since I've been doing this I'm like and hey, the TV is just done because I just don't have time to do that if I could do that with my games that would be great too but I read my scriptures and meditationals first today I played my games for like 20 minutes and then I read my friend's book I still haven't finished it so I can't do a review of it yet but I read several more chapters of it and I meant to only read a couple of chapters of that and then work on my book and then go to work. But I spent over an hour reading her book so that I didn't have time to work on my book before I went to work. But it's okay, because at least, you know, progress. I started doing something before I went to work instead of just going to work and having to do all of it when I got home. So that was good for me, I think. And then I still made a bunch more money tonight, which was great. So I'm grateful for that too. And then of course I did work on my book and I decided to divide my chapters one and two back to chapters one and two, but I'm not sure. I'm still kind of on the fence with that because it just seems like it's a really, really long chapter if I put them together, but it just doesn't seem like there's a really good breaking point somewhere like in the middle of it. So it makes for a really short chapter and then like an okay length chapter or a really, really long chapter. So um, I may just leave it alone for now and I'll wait till I send it off to beta readers and be like, is my chapter too long? Is my chapter too short? Am I just being way too picky and paranoid? I'm probably just being way too picky and paranoid because I have already written the beginning of this book like 20 times and that's not an exaggeration, seriously. Because I don't know how many times I wrote it like before, um, way before when I first started and how many different versions of that that I have of this book I have to scroll through but I probably have like 20 to 50 versions of this book it's insane how many different times I like started and stopped and started and stopped and whatever and then I finished the book and then left it alone for several years and then figured out that I didn't do a very good job writing it and then I have to rewrite it and then I ended up writing the Noi and the Teachers of Powers to explain this book the fall of us being Londa, and I'm like, maybe it doesn't need the explanation. I just need to kind of word things a little bit differently and maybe put some um, things in the book, some appendices or something like that to kind of give explanations for people to just kind of glance at to help out a little bit, like terminology, words, terminologies for my little world and um, 
a description of all the different powers. And I have all of that. It's already all typed up. All I have to do is attach it as an appendix or something like at the front of the book or whatever, or the back of the book. I think appendixes go in the back of the book. I don't know what goes in the front of the book, but I think you can do those little, um, what do you call it? Roman numerals at the beginning to put the little stuff at the beginning of the book. I might do it at the beginning just to clarify stuff instead of at the end of the book. I don't know. I haven't decided all of that yet. So I'm going to figure out when I get to the publishing point of this book. But the rewrite process is kind of daunting. But I'm like, all right, I think I'm done with the first two chapters. I did go back and add some of the um, details that I thought I left out and then realized that I didn't need to add as many details as I thought I did because it just seemed to make sense. So I must have just been really tired yesterday when I was doing it or really tired today. But I don't know, because for some reason when I'm writing or working on it, I feel a little bit more awake and I get all these ideas, but I seem to fix everything that I was concerned about yesterday. I don't have a whole bunch of like new stuff today, so I think tomorrow I can start um, the next chapter, which would be chapter three. And this is a 24 chapter book, and I did at one point revise the first seven chapters, and now I'm going back and revising chapter one again, which is why I said I've done that chapter like a gazillion times. So if there aren't too many more revisions over the next five chapters that I may actually have to get to where I have to go back and revise the stuff that I wrote like five or six years ago. So that's going to be interesting to try to figure out, see what I like, what I don't like, see what I have to take out because it's not from the main character's points of views because I had to narrow it down to just three characters' points of views instead of like 25 characters' points of views. So again, <laughs> going to make things a little bit difficult. And um, I know at one point when I was talking to my mentor, she was telling me that I could um, just write side stories for each of the characters or points of view that I had to take out. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know how many more books I would write around this? And then I would just avoid writing the, the basics for the story, the crux of the story. So I think I need to just write all of it out. And then if I, um, if there's interest from readers, if they get popular enough and they want more information on side stories or side characters, I can go back and make those up. I can go back and write them. I can go back and add that not a big deal. I could also go like on my web page or something and actually put like what I thought was going to be the original version of the fall of Esping Lange so people can go back and read how horrible my writing was at one point. And but hopefully they'll read the the published version first that makes sense to everybody before they go back and try to read the the other version. Um it's a little all over the place. But anyway, c'est la vie. Um but I am grateful that I did get to work on my book, that I am doing a little bit of writing. And I'm grateful to realize today that um, I've been stressing a little bit about all the stuff that I've committed to do or that I'm doing. And then I realized today, like, like, I don't know what I'm stressing about. I'm actually doing it. I'm actually following through on what I said I was going to do. Not only did I do my 100 days of gratitude, but I'm now on four days of doing my writing. I'm reading that book I told my friend I would review. I'm getting my bills caught up and paid. So I'm like, by the end of this month, I won't be past due. <laughs> Might be a little late on some things in November because I'm trying to get everything, but I won't have anything past due, which will be fantastic. Um, so, um, well, that's not true. I'll still have my car payment that's past due, but I already made payment arrangements with them to pay extra every month until it gets caught up, which will be caught up by the end of the year. So I'm not worried about that one. But everything else is not going to be past due or has a payment arrangement worked out so I don't have to pay extra or double. And this month I've been paying extra and double and stressing and it's all worked out. So I don't know how it's all worked out. I'm just grateful that it's all worked out and I'm grateful that God has made it all work out. And I'm really grateful after tonight because of the money that I made, because it covers what, you know, for the days that I didn't make as much money earlier this week. So I was like, it all works out. And I feel like it's a blessing because I'm, I feel like I'm being blessed because I'm putting forth the effort. I'm trying to do everything that I said I was going to do. I'm doing my scriptures and meditationals. I'm reading my friend's book. I'm working on my books. I'm doing my writing every day. I wrote in my journal again today. So I think that's three days of journal writing and four days of YouTube videos and writing on my book. So 
I'm like, yeah, kind of a day behind on the journal thing, but hey, I'm doing it and I'm doing the non-negotiable things that my friend suggested I make non-negotiable because if it was negotiable, I would be in bed asleep and not doing any of this right now. So I'm grateful that I'm sticking to that commitment that I'm following through and it feels good. It makes me feel good about myself. It makes me feel positive about my future and that I can do this. And I'm just grateful that I was reminded that I'm doing this and not just, um, thinking about doing it or that I'm going to do this because I think my brain just still does that like well I'm going to do this or it's going to get done eventually and it's like no no I have to stop <laughs> like because I I feel like I'm trying to do a whole bunch of stuff and I'm not succeeding and so I'm grateful for the thought that I'm like no I am succeeding I am doing what I said I was going to do and maybe it's not working out the way that I planned maybe it's not fitting into the schedule that I set um just yet. Maybe it never will fit into my schedule that I set, but it's working and I'm getting it all done. And I'm grateful that I'm getting it all done. And at some point I would like to get some sleep added into there because I really want to give myself seven to nine hours of sleep a day, which I should be able to do. Um, I just need to figure out my schedule and I have a schedule figured out. I just can't seem to get myself on that schedule. <laughs> Because I, you know, go to bed really late and I don't want to get up early to force myself into that schedule. But I kind of have to on the weekends. I have a kind of chance to reset because I don't work on Sunday. So Sunday will be kind of my reset day. Um, and then Monday I can start again with my schedule. And hopefully I will do a better job of keeping it all of next week. And then we'll see if that means that I actually get more sleep. And then I won't be feeling as stressed. And I can still continue to do everything that I said I'm going to do, and maybe I can even do more. I'm not going to add more to my plate right now. <laughs> I'm not going to add more, but I'm just going to be grateful for what I am doing and that I am doing it, and I'm grateful I'm doing these videos, and yes, I'm going to continue to say things that I'm grateful for because tonight I realized that I think maybe part of the reason I was feeling a little discouraged is because I kind of stopped focusing on gratitude. I mean, I didn't stop saying things I was grateful for, and I wrote things I'm grateful for in my journal, but there's something different about sharing it in the video, like saying it out loud, and not just in a prayer, but just saying it out loud on these videos, because it helps me to see my growth and my progress. So I'm grateful that I can do that, and I'm grateful that I'm working on my book, that I can see the difference in my book and reading things in my friend's writing and just things like that. And um grateful that I might actually be getting through my book. So yay. Um, so that's what I'm, <laughs> that's what I'm working on. I did my writing. I'm doing my gratitude still. So I'm kind of combining the two um, because I don't want to lose the focus of the gratitude. I don't want to lose my positive new perspective. I don't want those negative things to creep back in. And I don't want to feel like I'm not doing enough or stressing out that I'm not going to be able to get everything done when I'm doing everything. It's getting done. It's just maybe not how I thought it was going to happen or <laughs> in the time frame. Everything always takes longer than I think that it will anyway. So I don't know why I'm freaking out, but that's, you know, my old default settings. That's what I do. So I'm grateful that making these videos and um, focusing on gratitude helps me to calm down, helps me to let go and realize that I don't need to freak out. And I'm grateful I'm able to write in my journal because I think that helps too. So I'm getting there. Baby steps, baby steps, one little day at a time. And I made it to day four. And I already forgot how hard the first week or so of doing 100 days is. So it's going to be, it's going to be tricky. And I'm remembering that I had a lot of ups and downs and days that I did not want to do my YouTube videos when I was focused on gratitude. So I'm sure there's going to be many days I don't want to do my videos or days that I don't want to do my writing. And it's not that I didn't want to write today. It's just that I was tired and I was like, I could so totally just go to sleep at four o'clock this morning and have no problem with that. But then my problem would be I would feel guilty and I wouldn't actually sleep because I wouldn't have done what I said I was going to do. And I don't want that guilt to come back. I don't want that depression to come back. I want to continue to focus on positive things I want to continue to be grateful for things. I want to continue to follow through on things that I said I was going to do. And I want to be able to finish my books, get them rewritten, get them published, get them revised, get them published, whatever it is that I need to do. So I'm grateful that I can start focusing on that, that I can do this, that it actually feels doable 
and not just that I can do this, but that I am doing it. I am doing it. I have to remember I am doing it. I am doing it. And I'm grateful that I'm doing it and um, grateful I'm doing these videos. So I hope that you're enjoying it, learning something from it. And I hope you have a great day full of gratitude. If you like, hit like, subscribe, share with someone else if you think it'll help. And um, hope you have a great day. Thanks.